With UEFN here, you'll probably want to import your own characters. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to import a skeletal mesh and its animations. If you don't already have a character, uh, might I suggest looking at Mixamo for some stand-ins or test characters that you can use. You know, they got a ton of animations and quite a few characters here. Or you can check out Sketchfab and, you know, download a variety of assets that are available. For this example, I'm going to be using uh, Mixmo assets and one of my own. So let's get started. First, I'm going to set up a folder. We're going to call this Mixmo. Hold on. Capsules on. Mixmo Mannequin. And we're going to open that folder and make some new ones. Mesh textures, animations, and finally, materials. Once that's done, we can import our skeletal mesh. If you watch my importing your first asset to Unreal video, then you'll know that there are two methods of importing a mesh. You can click the import button and navigate to your folder, or you can simply drag and drop the folder into your Content browser. Now that you selected your file, we'll handle the dial the import dialog. It's a very important step. Uh, the most important box is to check make sure you have skeletal mesh and import mesh checked on. You know this should be empty if it's a new uh, if it's a new skeleton. Don't worry about it. Um, and import animations. This file does not have animations, so that should be checked off. Uh, just to save some time, since I already covered it in the other video, uh, we'll check on new create new materials. So we have that all set up, and all these other settings should be all right. You know, so we can just import all. And there it is. And really quickly. Just for some organization, drag these materials to the material folder. And the asterisk, is, the asterisk is still there, so we're going to shift control S, save all. And now we'll open the mesh, make sure it is. Yep, that's the mesh I wanted. So, all the bones are there, so that's good. And just save that and close it. So, as you can see, we have our first mesh in here. However, it doesn't have any animations. So, now we'll import the animations. This is a little straightforward. In the animation folder, just drag the animations you want into the content browser. And on the import dialog, make sure you select the skeleton of the mesh you just imported. This is important. So, and we do not need to import the mesh. So that's okay. Um, don't worry if you don't see the skeletal mesh option here. We already have the, the skeleton selected. And these settings should be fine. And hit import all. Awesome. Let's see. It looks like I brought some stuff over, like this T pose thing. Uh, we don't really need these, so we can just select and then control select, right click, and delete. And now that we know these animations look good, we just shift control S. If when you check your mesh, uh, you're seeing stretch geometry or the me the mesh is actually having some weird issues, or the mesh is having some weird issues in the animations tab, uh, make sure your weight influences are properly painted in Maya or Blender or whatever engine of choice you use, um, and that should be all good. Um, so yeah, and now it's, and just like that, you have an animated character in Unreal.
And for a bonus for getting this far, let's open the... Let's open the skeletal mesh window. And I'm going to show you how to add a prop to your character. So, let's see. Just select the bone you want. Right? Right click on the bone in the skeleton tree. Add a socket. You can name this socket whatever you want. I'm going to name it helmet. Because I'm going to add a helmet to it. Once that's created, right click this socket and drag down to add preview asset. And search for the asset you want. I'm going to use this helmet. So it's going to look weird, but all you need to do is just position it to the pose you want it to be. You can also scale it. You know, different characters can have different scale. So, for every skeletal mesh, you might want to adjust it to the pose of that character. So, that should be good. I think that looks good. And just like that, if we close this window and open this, you have a character with a prop. And just like that, you are done.